Nicole, this time the attack was also cruel and vicious, and for some, the video may be difficult to watch. I heard a knock on the door. 14-year-old Chad Sanford yes. thought it was an invitation to hang out at this neighborhood park. <laughs> Chad thought they were friends. What did they tell you as they were beating you? Don't come around me with that gay you may remember we first met the LGBTQ teen just over a year ago. Oh my God. The then 13 year old was beat up and body slammed at Deerfield Middle School as classmates yelled homophobic slurs. I spoke to Chad days later. It's just sad because I wanted to do suicide. Just let him live his life. Just let Chad be Chad. Chad's grandmother, who asked us to hide her face, sent me this video. She says this is just the latest in a series of targeted attacks on Chad. Guys were spitting on him on the bus and treating him in any kind of way that because of his transgender in life or what he want to be. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> They would have hit Chad the wrong way and something would have happened to Chad. What I'm supposed to do? The Pompano Beach grandmother says it's difficult for her to watch this because it could have been so much worse. It could have. Fortunately, Chad was left only bruised up and scratched up. Chad's grandmother tells us she called the Broward County Sheriff's Office to report what happened. We are standing by for an update from BSO.